from the Seven Storm Team. Your first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Terry. 515 now with you on this. Well, not, not a cold morning. If you look at the regional temperature map, you can see the cold and it hasn't arrived yet. We're at 54, so it's not bad at all. Amarillo, Texas, 22 degrees right now. It's 36 in Dallas. The cold front has made its pass there across North Texas, and some of that is translating into even some snow showers out over Oklahoma and Kansas this morning. That's how that cold air has made its way. That's how about how far south the cold air has made its way this morning. For us, we're holding at 54. It's cloudy. We got lucky yesterday and saw a little bit of sunshine, and that did help to boost up the temperatures into the 60s. It looks like as we start the morning off, we'll have to watch for a little bit of fog. Derrida down to five mile visibility, but we just showed you there earlier on the downtown Derrida sky cam. We didn't have any fog to report there, but it could in spots develop this morning. We'll just we'll call it that, especially with the calmer winds. Your morning forecast will hold temperatures into the 50s and not much of a warm up as we start the morning off. Here's a live look at our South Lake Charles sky cam. Cloud cover is thick overhead this morning. That's blocking all of the stars and the moon. Throughout this morning, uh, look for uh, temperatures to slowly warm up. We're still in the 50s at 10 a.m., going 63 at noon and mid 60s there at 3 under partly sunny skies and clouds return tonight. Chance of showers moves in after midnight as we'll go into the overnight period as the front moves in. There are those snow showers out over Oklahoma and Kansas this morning, and that's associated with the cold front. That is, uh, like we said, uh, we'll be moving here into our area over the course of the next 24 hours. Let's track it for you because as we go into the daytime hours, not a whole lot of break in the cloud cover. That's why I think that uh, maybe some afternoon sun to give us that boost into the 60s. Here comes the front though, a few showers with it. This is not going to be a big rain producer. I had a couple of questions from uh, viewers yesterday. How much rain are we talking with all the rain we've already seen? Well, with this, maybe less than a quarter inch. So this is not going to be much at all to really add to that amount that we've seen uh, that's been so great the past several days. Rain is sort of the secondary factor with this front. Of course, the winds pick up through the day tomorrow as cold air makes its push in through the day on Thursday. Thursday, temperature wise, the seven day sort of deceiving because we do show 50s, but that's going to come early in the morning. Here we are at 7 a.m. at 51. Look what happens through the day. We drop into the 40s. We'll likely be in the 40s by the noon hour tomorrow, and then by the time you get off work, we'll probably be about 46, 47. That drop continues on down, of course, into the 30s. The question with freezing temperatures will be how much we clear the skies out. If we hold on to cloud cover, that may very well keep a lot of areas right at or just above the freezing mark for Friday morning. But Friday, just a raw day all around. Look at that. High is only in the 40s. I think our better shot at uh, freezing temperatures may come Saturday morning as we'll have clearer skies. But nonetheless, you need to take those precautions both Friday and Saturday mornings for the possibility of uh, freezing temperatures across the area. 48 tonight, shower chances after midnight. We'll say 32 Friday morning just to be on the safe side with that cold blast of air all around. Just a cold day for Friday, even with that sun returning and then into the weekend uh, down to about 30. I think that's when we have a better shot at seeing those below freezing temperatures down to I-10. 56 on Saturday. Of course, a big day to get out and vote. It will be chilly this weekend, but warming back up Sunday, Monday, and then another big cold front should push through the area by the middle of next week. So we're in that pattern now where we're getting these fronts through. And the one we see moving in tonight is really going to bring that cold blast of air through the day, Thursday, and then on into Friday. All right, chilly mm -hmm. couple yeah. of days ahead there. I did turn on my heat yesterday just to make yeah. sure it worked, and I did I smell it. I almost did it. All right, I, I cleaned out <laughs> I got the, the gas. Smell. Line, so <laughs> yeah. All right, well, after a lot of virtual reality.